Did you know that you can create a website for free on WIX.com and then also convert it into a mobile app for free? And now I'll show you how to do it. As you can see, I have a free plan on WIX.com. I created a website, published it, and it is now available on the internet via this URL. Everything works perfectly, except for two things. Our website is published on the Wixsite.com domain. However, for a mobile app, this is not an issue since the URL won't be visible to users. On the free plan, there is a header that doesn't look very nice. I'll show you how to fix this a bit later. Now, let's create a mobile application. For this, we will use Appery. Let's create our app. Choose this template. All we need to do is go into the settings and specify the URL of our website. Now, we can export our app for Android or iOS and then upload the built application to Google Play and the App Store. A link to a video tutorial on how to publish the app in stores is in the description. We also have the option to test our app without even building it. To do this, go to Google Play or the App Store, find our tester app, install and open it. Click the scan button and scan the app's QR code. Here's our app. Click the menu. Everything works perfectly. However, as we mentioned earlier, the unwanted header is still there. Appery is a unique product. It doesn't just convert a website into a mobile app, but also allows running custom JavaScript code inside your site. To do this, open this file. At the bottom, there is a relevant section. Let's uncomment it. This will remove the unwanted header. Let's test it. Unload the tester app from memory and restart it. Scan the QR code again. Now our app is without the header. Now, let's build our actual app. Open. Project setting, where we can specify the launch screen, app name, description, and much more. Let's simply change the icon. Select a file, upload it, and set it as the app icon. Now, let's build the app. The app is ready. We can install it. Use the system scanner to scan this QR code Open the link, download the app, and once the download is complete, install and open it. And now we have a fully functional app that can be uploaded to Google Play. By creating the app in Appery, we gain many more possibilities than just opening a website in a mobile app. As we already know, we can modify our website's content, remove elements, and add new ones. For example, we can pre-fill login and password fields and automatically log into the app. But let's see what else we can do. Open home page. There is a panel at the bottom. If we expand it, we will see that when the home page is displayed, a TypeScript code is executed. We can introduce a delay before our site opens, which might be useful for showing ads or announcements. We set the page content to be centered vertically. You can add an image or anything else. Let's just add a text message. To specify the wait time, open Code tab and set the time in seconds. To test, we can either build a new version or use a tester. We see a countdown and after five seconds, our website opens. You can place any JavaScript code here, but you also have the option to load it from the internet. To do this, Simply uncomment this code and specify the URL of your script. Finally, let's summarize what makes a mobile app different from a website. It can be uploaded to app stores. It can send push notifications. It allows embedding custom logic and much more.